less than six hours away from the Conference USA Championship between UTSA and UNT. It all goes down tonight, 6.30 at the Alamo Dome, and it sounds like the Dome will be rocking because at least one source confirms telling KSAT 12 Sports ticket sales are up to 42,000 and hopefully counting. The excitement is building as UTSA looks to repeat as conference champs. So here's your game day info. Parking lots open at noon. The fan zone opens at 3.30 p.m. Spirit Walk goes down at 4.15 this afternoon. Alamo Dome doors open at 4.30 and the game kicks at 6.30 tonight. And there's free parking at city owned lots from 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. But this does not include Alamo Dome parking lots and it's official UIW head football coach GJ Kinney has informed the University of the Incarnate Word that he'll be leaving his position at the end of the season to take over the head coaching gig at Texas State. Both schools sending out emails today with the announcement. Kinney will continue to coach the Cardinals in the FCS playoffs. UIW will host Furman tomorrow 1 p.m. at Gale and Tom Benson Stadium. Brandeis Broncos junior basketball player Ryan Forcier is a star on the court who's paying it forward. She recently handed out basketball shoes to 52 girls at Neff Middle School via money she raised through her community initiative forward. She came up with the idea during the summer when one of her teammates told her when she first started playing basketball, she didn't have the right shoes and that she was getting made fun of to the point where she just wanted to quit the game. Ryan said that story opened up her eyes because that shouldn't be a reason to give up basketball. So forward was born with the help of her mom Denise and Ryan had the privilege to make some seventh and eighth grade girls at Neff very happy. It's important because at Neff Middle School, which is a Title I middle school, which is like government funding, 80% of their girls did not have the right shoes to play. And it's important because it helps their dignity and confidence and it helps them want to keep playing as well as preventing injury. Yaka Pirtle and the Spurs are joining forces with Ryan to help her pay it forward. She attended the Spurs game on November 23rd, where Yak recognized Ryan for what she's doing by presenting her with a signed jersey. It was awesome just just to see how the how like people in the NBA want to give back and how Yaka, like he was able, we were able to get all the girls' slides, shoes, and headbands to help with their shoes, prevent like getting them dirty and stuff. And it was awesome. It was like a big deal for me personally, just because of how this whole community really wants to help each other. Her mom tells us that the Spurs are going to buy and wear Ryan's forward t-shirts to support her second Title I school. The website is on your screen if you'd like to buy a shirt or you can just donate money. David? How awesome is that? that really, is really cool, fantastic. yeah. Congratulations to her. And how about the Spurs stepping in and helping her out too? Great stuff. That's why we love San Antonio. And that's why we love these two people right here, Mike and Fiona, because he's <laughs> Thank always you very much. money. Yes, we're talking green today. Yes, lots of green. green. Oh, yes, you just popped up on my radar, fella. Yes, Let me see this. Tell me all about it. Here, get yourself something real pretty. You got oh. something coming up there at Lock and Terror, right? I do, Lock and Terror. We have brunch tomorrow. You better be coming. Look at the delicious Seuss-inspired pancakes. We'll tell you more about mm -hmm. that. Speaking of Mean Green, not mm -hmm. him, but Mean Green's in town. Play UTSA down there at the Dome. That's where Jen is. Hey, Jen. That's right. The tailgating has begun, and we are pumped about this. They're still encouraging people to come out and pack the Dome. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know if you want to come out here and enjoy. Maybe bring a helmet or just enjoy the food. All right, I'm going to toss it back to you guys. Stop it. Calm down, boy. And, okay, you probably <laughs> started decorating your Christmas trees. And guess what? Stephanie Pena Frost from Princess yes. and the Monkey is here to tell you about one of the latest trends. So, everybody is talking about doing the, the great big ornaments on their Christmas tree. <laughs> well, if you can't find them, what you can do is you can cluster small ornaments and you can put them all together and make your own great big ornament for your tree. Kind of it's it brilliant! Gotta make sure I can concentrate with it. <laughs> it so and easy. we'll tell you all about cookies for National Cookie Day. Hey, <laughs> help yourself, Grinch. <laughs> yeah, don't worry, I will. That's what I do. <laughs> oh, did I steal it? Oh, weird. All right, still have some mist across portions of Bear County, but as of the latest report in from San Antonio International, it is looking like visibility is starting to improve a bit more, so that's good. Hopefully we'll see that trend into this afternoon. More fog tomorrow morning, then we see that front work in, maybe an isolated shower possible, and then into Sunday, cloud cover still with us, really for the most part. Clouds are with us into next week, wow. but that's when we start to see that warming trend as well. Not really feeling very festive. Those are high numbers. Yeah.
there. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you for watching. And Mike's got to get control of the Grinch down there. Yeah. I mean, when you start stealing the cookies. It's a big, big thing. Yeah, that's that's not good. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. <laughs> oh, watch out. <laughs> Hello and happy Friday. Guard your gifts because the Grinch <laughs> is in town. We're going to tell you about what he's doing in the Alamo City and how he's doing some good. He was trying to take that candy cane, wasn't he? I, I believe so. Huh? That and then oh, some, look, I'm he sure. Can, and he can pirouette, too. <laughs> I like that. He twirls. Quite the talented little Grinch. <laughs> oh, good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorsiza. And I'm Augusto Strange. And of course, we have so much to celebrate this month and one other thing, did you know that Sunday is National Cookie Day? Believe in the elves and the cookies, the big ones like Believe that. Believe in your elf. Yes, Great American Cookies dropped off this amazing spread. And if you sign up to be a loyalty member and make a purchase on National Cookie Day, which again is this Sunday, you'll receive a special reward like a free regular cookie Ooh. or a buy one, get one regular cookie and more. You can find Great American Cookies in most of the local malls. So. If you're going to go shop, sign up to be a loyalty member and get your reward. It's again this Sunday. And that raises the question, since mm -hmm. cookies are such a big part of the Christmas season, mm -hmm. what do you like best, sugar cookies or gingerbread? Three, Three two, two, one, one. sugar cookie. Okay, well that works out. I, you won't steal my cookies. Okay. <laughs> okay, um, there you go with because, the sugar cookies. Because sugar cookies are when they decorate. Well, well, right. yes. yes, yes, because mm -hmm. he loves to decorate. Okay, and you're good but, at but it. I, you know, so let there, us so. know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter which you would choose. It's a really good sugar cookie, by the <laughs> right. way. So. It's <laughs> the last day of our Holly Jolly Week, and we're going from jolly to maybe a little grumpy because one of the most famous and maybe misunderstood Christmas characters, as you saw, is here in our studio. Are you misunderstood? Misunderstood. No, I'm Mr. Grinch. Oh, okay. Yeah, mis okay. yeah no, misunderstood. A she's, a, she's a friend of mine. She lives down the street <laughs> in Blueville. Okay. And you have a sash, Miss? Yeah, no, I'm Mr. Grinch. Mr. She's Miss. Okay. Yeah, you, you know, come on. Yes, Grinch is in town for a very special brunch that you can be a part of, along with his best friend here, Christian Brassfield, who's the executive chef from Lock and Tara. Good afternoon, Good gentlemen. Afternoon. Thank, you. Yes. Thank you. All right. So, Chef Christian, you brought, of course, some Seuss-inspired treats, right? We do. We have some holiday cookies. We have some Cindy Lou Who macaroons. Cindy Lou! Look yes. Macaroons! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. And you have got a great recipe for the best pancakes ever, right? Absolutely. So you're going to start with all your dry ingredients, okay. the all-purpose flour, three teaspoons of baking powder, don't use baking soda, and a little bit of salt. Why not? Sugar. Would you like to do oh, yeah. the This, yeah. this is there? so exactly up my alley here. <laughs> This is what I love. Natural. Why baking powder instead of baking soda? Baking powder is a leavener, and okay. baking soda is going to help like your cookie spread. So, oh. Yeah. So you okay. can either sift that or just stir no, it together with a whisk, and then you're going to well? yeah, and then you're going to oh. have all your wet. You're going to add your milk See, and you're your egg. Well. 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 There we go. All right. Well. 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 That's great. The jokes are so good. Yeah. And the secret to great pancakes <laughs> is to not overmix it. Not what? Don't overmix it. Don't overmix it. Go what? No, oh. it's but I love the mixing. Right. I love it so much. You're very good at that too. It's got to be just right. It's got to be the Goldilocks of mixing. Oh, okay, yeah. so while he's doing that, tell us what folks can expect oh. at the brunch. At the brunch, we have no, several, <laughs> several Dr. Seuss inspired um, foods like roast beef. Yeah. Roast beef! Roast beef. Roast beef. Roast beef. <laughs> my favorite. How do we make the pancake green, by the way? Uh, we actually use the tears of Grinch. <laughs> How do we make you cry? Uh, you know, you could actually say something nice to me instead of mean, because mean I'm used to, but say something nice. Something nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we've got the best jokes today. You will be here the rest of the yes. week, folks. Yes. Yes. Okay. Try the pancake. Yes. So, all right. And of course, the Grinch brunch helps celebrate a great cause, right? Absolutely. Um, it uh, benefits the Children's Bereavement Center of South Texas, and last year La Quintero donated over $21,000 to this charity. Oh, wonderful. Fantastic organization as well. So, along with, now, you are using <laughs> Absolutely. Butter. 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 That's the only way to cook pancakes. Butter! Butter. Yeah, butter. Oh, Real butter. I use oil. Sure. 
and shoelaces. Shame on you, Grish. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else is on the menu besides roast beast and the uh, the pancakes? We have so. eggs, Benny. We have an omelet station. We have Jello cake and tons of desserts for the children. Ooh, and then you get to decorate your pancakes yeah, too, absolutely. right? Absolutely. So we have M and M sprinkles, mm -hmm. berries, and we also have a little bit of cream for you. Oh, there we go. Here we are. That's good. This is good. Uh, I love these, but you know what they need? What? Just a little bit more raw onion. That's raw sort of what onion. I was looking for, but I mean, hey, it's your show. I'm just here. Yeah. So garlic and onion pancakes, why don't you taste that and see how that tastes? Okay. okay. <laughs> and then the uh, brunch is coming up tomorrow. Absolutely. It's at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. And for Grinches of all ages? <sighs> Grinches of all ages. And uh, lots of fun, especially for the kids. We have a couple of readings. We do a reading of the greatest book that was ever written. It's about me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Grinch, how will you spend Christmas this year? Oh, I am probably going to wake up in my cave and uh, scream into the abyss and then cry until about 2 o'clock. Then I'll slide down the hill, steal some stuff, go back up. You know how it goes. That's what I do every year. How do you plan on keeping him in control during yes. the brunch? Um, I'm not certain. I'm going to bring so, my child, so hopefully Sebastian will be able to keep you in check. Him. But okay. Yeah. You know, I'm a little nicer to the kids. I promise. Just want to let it out there. Uh, the adults, not so much, but I will be nice to the children. It's part of my contract, which I'm <laughs> renegotiating <laughs> after this bit. <laughs> Right. Oh. And how do folks get tickets for the brunch? Uh, you could either book your uh, reservation on Open Table or you could call us directly. We mm -hmm. have the phone number right here. It's 210-558-2479. Okay. How many pancakes can you eat in one sitting? 17,000. Really? Have you tried? Uh, yeah. <laughs> how else would I know? 17,000. I just thought it was a guess on your part. So. Yeah. Okay. All right. If you would like to attend, here, let's get you a little cookie there. Would you like one there, Mr. Grinch? Oh, yes. Absolutely. I Don't would forget. love one. Thank there you. The Grinch Brunch is tomorrow, Saturday, December 3rd, at Sweet Fire Kitchen at the Lock and Terror Resort and Spa. It's from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. To make a reservation, all you have to do is call 210 558 2479. That's 210 558 2479. Make those reservations and make those memories. And don't forget, it benefits the Children's Bereavement mm -hmm. Center. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Thank, Thank you. you enjoy, much. Your, enjoy your cookie, sir. Okay, from an indoor festive brunch with a Grinch to an outdoor day of fishing. Tomorrow, hundreds of kids are going to be uh, out there at Woodlawn Lake Park for fishing lines at Christmas time. Yes, our Jen Tobias Stroski caught up with Priest Holmes, former NFL running back and the man behind this event. Fishing Lions with Christmas Times is a series of events uh, that we do with local communities. We like to come out and stock the tank and give the kids in this area an opportunity uh, to fish. Giving back is what former NFL running back and San Antonio native Priest Holmes is all about. Well, you know, I grew up here in San Antonio. Um, most of my schooling was done here in San Antonio. I'm a graduate of John Marshall High School. Uh, I'm an ex-Ram for all you Rams out there. I'm really excited about giving back to my community. I think that for my 11 years playing professionally in the NFL, uh, four years with Baltimore and seven years with the Kansas City Chiefs, it gave me an opportunity to have a platform, uh, somewhat like what we're standing on today. It's a platform, you know, we're gonna use this to fish, but I use my NFL platform to reach out to kids and give back in a number of different ways. We give out turkeys, we give out backpacks. Uh, we also have a sporting event that we do every year. We do camps. Uh, I mentioned that earlier. I'm like 20 years into doing camps. And so I've serviced the city of San Antonio for a number of years, and I'm proud to be able to say that I'm from here. This Saturday, 300 kids will be able to enjoy a day of fishing and a free lunch at Woodlawn Lake Park. It's pretty exciting because you get these kids between the ages of 5 and 15, and they're literally, you're thinking they're going to spend all of their time fishing, but they spend more time putting their hand in the cup where there's worms and they're digging it out with the dirt, and they're getting a chance just to fill around and get comfortable with fishing. Most of the kids that we have and that we invite out may have never fished before, but it gives them a, an opportunity to come out and do some fishing. The thing that is the biggest takeaway is that when I come into these communities, I'm able to stock the tank with over 3,000 fish. So even though we're here four hours, long after we're gone, the community can continue to fish. And then the big surprise is that we're going to actually have some catfish that are going to be thrown in here as well. And then we're going to actually have at least 25 to 30 of those tagged. So there's going to be a big surprise for those kids that get a chance to pull those out. This is one of many events Priest plans to continue to carry on through the Priest Holmes Foundation. If you would like to help, head over to his website for more information.
Well, again, the event is tomorrow from 9 a.m. to 1, and the first 300 kids, 15 and under, will receive a free rod, reel, and lunch. We have the registration link on SALive.com. Just click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, Jen is joining us now live from the Alamo Dome. And before they get going with all the tailgating out there, you also asked Priest about the Texas Sports Hall of Fame, right? That's right. Yeah, he was so humble about that. You know, he won the Texas High School Sports Hall of Fame. He was inducted in that years back. So when he got the call in October that he was being inducted in the Texas Sports Hall of Fame, he was like, wait, didn't I get that already? <laughs> but no, so he was super humble. That's going to happen in April 2023. Congrats to Priest. Thank you for all you do. Such a great role model. Speaking of great role models, there's plenty of them on the UTSA football team. And right now it's all about packing the dome. And we're here at the tailgate. Tailgate has started, right guys? Yeah. Look, I've got some tailgaters here! Yes! All right, Anthony Ramirez, how long have you been tailgating? Well, I haven't missed a tailgate in 11 years, so I've missed one, I haven't missed one yet. So it's it's been a beginning from a, tail, a truck to a tailgate to what we have now is a whole team effort, and it's just a whole big family now. You said you mentioned family, right? So you guys, I mean, how many people are you expecting here? Because you you work together with the food and the drinks, right? We start off early, we were usually the setup about 20 people, but it eventually gets up to 50 to 100 people, just depending. And today we're expecting at least 40,000 in the dome. So Wow. How important is it when everybody comes together like this, especially for tonight's game? Oh, it's memorable moments. These are, these are moments you can't put a, you know, a price tag on, so they're yes. priceless. Yes, and UTSA just continues to grow, right? You mentioned yeah. this uh, bottle here too, right? All right. <laughs> and exactly. In Texas, there's only three schools that they put a, a logo on, and so I appreciate Bud Light respecting UTSA and putting Bud's Light on, and also our local sponsors putting a nice little Roadrunner on their cans also but it's it's a whole city coming together to support UTSA and they've grown from a little school to a, just a big one of the big boys in the club now. Isn't it amazing how it much is. they've grown? I, I know you guys are proud. I'm going to shift over here. I'm coming back. Don't okay. worry. But David Dominguez joins me now. So you've got, oh look they're chanting over there. You have your alumni area over here. Tell me about that. Yeah so the UTSA Alumni Association sets up for tailgates every single football game. You'll actually find us out here in Lot C for the first time all season. Uh, so we we actually part of our proceeds goes uh, to scholarships so it goes to a general fund it goes to several different scholarships not one to, to really narrow down but that's where all of our proceeds go and uh, with $25 you can get in we have an open bar and we're going to be serving uh, tamales and sausage wraps today so Ooh. our UTSA grill team they're great so we're happy to have them here and we're ready to see all the you know happy folks come through so yeah yes and so they started cooking what at noon here yeah they uh -huh. actually were like hey we want to get it out there at 10 30 so they've been rolling oh. uh they started at 11 so yeah, yeah we're ready to go why is it so important for today for people to come out and support especially alumni <laughs> hey just as our guys over here said city of san antonio yes. is coming together and so that's why it's important it's about the camaraderie and getting this football team this championship that they deserve so yes yeah. and how many tokens have you been at oh <laughs> man sure plenty right let's see well i've been coordinating them all so this is my eighth one so yeah wow. And we're looking for the bowl, uh, bowl game, so we'll see where we're going to go. Right? Yeah. I know. We're excited. Okay, and the weather doesn't matter, right? I oh. mean, it was raining earlier, but Rain or shine, right we're going. Yeah. All right, so. what's your favorite tailgate food? Oh, <laughs> mm, I don't know. It might be these tamales this oh, go around, I'm so we'll see. But that. come on, you can't skip the classics like some sausage, maybe some hamburgers. Yeah. I don't know. He's making me see. hungry. Yeah. Okay. All right, thank you so much, no David. Thank now, you. Uh, wh what's on the menu for you guys, by I'm the way? Making fideo loco today oh. and tamales also because you can't go wrong with Santa. Okay, <laughs> I don't think I'm going to leave. I think I'm going to be here all day. Okay, so here's what you need to know if you are coming out. Arrive early and expect heavy traffic in the downtown area. Parking is free in the in some lots, not the Alamo Dome lots. They are sold out. The Spirit Walk starts at 415 between lots B and C. There's a free family friendly, there's free family friendly activities, live music and a fan zone at the HEB Plaza on the north side of the dome. That starts at 330 and the doors open at 430. Game starts at 6.30. Are we ready for our chant now? Yes. Yes. All right, ready? Come on, David, get in here with us. Coming up on SA Live, cheers to getting into the Christmas spirit. We're going to tell you about a festive pop-up at a cool speakeasy in the heart of the Alamo City.
Love the UTSA cheer. But first, hey, you want to get your friends and family some beautiful ornaments you just can't find anywhere else? Just check out local small businesses. We show you a few great gift ideas next on SA Live. Did he get? Did he get a hug? Well, remember he says he's very nice to the children. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yay! Oh, yay! I think his heart grew three oh, sizes yes. just then. Well, if you're getting ready to do some shopping this weekend, how about a small business Saturday round two? Yes, and our yes. dear friend Stephanie Pina Frost is here, owner of Princess Thank and the you. Monkey, mm -hmm. and round up some really great ornaments, not only that you can make, but also from local businesses. Right. Everything you see here was made by a local artisan and only available at the, at the local holiday markets around town. Okay. So it's so, truly local. So before we show off those wares, yes. we're going to start with a DIY ornament. Exactly. So one of the big things has been people buying ornaments for gifts. And so this is a fun way to do a craft. That way you and your kids can do it. Um, it's super simple. I picked up these at a local craft store. And then you just take your paint pins and you write your little message on it, and it's super easy. And these come pre-drilled, pre-painted. Pre-painted with everything. the string attached, so that okay. makes it so much, so so much easier. So as y'all are doing that, we can uh, go ahead and talk a little bit about the ornaments that um, that I have. And like I said, these are all that I've seen at markets that I've watched people buy and heard the stories about why they're doing it. And um, majority of these can also be personalized by the makers too. So it makes it a really kind of fun gift. Um, a, a, fun, a fun gift to give and, and to buy. So, um, so what do we I, got first? So Ooh, first, first, of course, um, uh, it's one of my ornaments that I actually do, and it's a hand-painted glass ornament with um, with blue bonnets on it. Blue bonnets have been really, really good and special, especially for out-of-town guests uh, when you're giving an out-of-town gift. The next one is a Texas blue bonnet on on oh. a on a copper wire. Yes. So, sorry, yeah, so on, on the copper wire, and it makes a great sun catcher for afterwards. Um, so they can use it, keep it up is. all year round. It's beautifully done, and once again, all handmade. The next one is from um, I Love You Muncho, and um, those are uh, also painted on, on wood disc, and then some reusing of some metal tins, and those are all hand painted with the cactus motif. Ooh. You know, and the nice thing, and you said these can be personalized too. Now they wouldn't do it at the right. They wouldn't do it there. You would have okay. to order it, and then they would send it to you, get it to you. But you can put the date. You can put somebody's name on it. You can kind of put any. You know, they can definitely work with you on what they're doing to um, to customize it for you. You might want to do some bigger one after she's done with it because it looks like I didn't prime that one. Oh, oh. okay, that's um, fine. And so, okay, and then the next one um, we have, it's from another local artist, uh, I Am Creating, and she spe specializes in the um, Mexican style folk art paintings. And so we have a really cool uh, Spurs inspired concha. Mm, and then we have cool a heart looking. that has a Mexican folk art painting on it as well. And those are so much fun. People absolutely love that. And all of that is hand painted. It's not stenciled. Wow. It's nothing like that. So wow. it's all hand done. And it's a very painstaking um, uh, process. You know, and the nice thing about ornaments, too, it, it's almost like going through then, when you give an ornament or mm -hmm. get one, going through a scrapbook. Because every year when you decorate, we do this, you say, oh, I remember this one. Oh, I remember this when you one. Got this. Yes. So, if, so if you do have a special ornament, like if you want to make it, and this exactly. would be perfect for, oh. for <laughs> Fiona. It's a very perfect one for her. Okay, oh, there you go. Oh. It's, very, it's so lovely, Mike. You need to put the that date on it. That way she'll remember me. Oh, yeah, the date. Okay. Get the yes. date. Thank you. Um, on, on our tree at home, it's actually four generations of ornaments. Oh. Really? So we have a family tree, and that's one of the, oh, the wow. big trends this year is a nostalgic tree of um, family ornaments that you've kind of collected throughout the years. And once again, these all here make perfect ones because you can say they're handmade, they're not store-bought. Should they're I put priceless. my name on the back in case you forget who it came from? I know. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, just yeah. So then we have from Pink Cat Designs, the Chola and Chola, very San Antonio, <laughs> very, very San Antonio. And then we have um, these beautiful resin art ones from Sassy Sense Birth, and so she does beautiful work with the resin. Now, as as far as some of the markets coming up here mm -hmm. on your website, do you have like list of various uh, markets I, and things? I do have a list of the, definitely the ones that I'm going to be at, but there's so many out there. There's one at the Woody this weekend. There's um, I'm at a market in Bernie um, that you have the Pearl Holiday Market that's on Wednesdays. You have one at Hemisphere next weekend that's all weekend long. You have there's just a bunch 
bunch of different great holiday gift markets going on right now. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Hey. For more information on Princess and the Monkey Home Decor and all these shops, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. We've got some tree decorating tips coming up in just a minute with Stephanie as well. Still out on SA Live. If you're going to do some shopping, hey, some extra money sure could help. $500 giveaway continues how you can be the next big winner. And next, it's a miracle in the Alamo City, where Christmas has come early and how you can get the party started now. Don't go anywhere, you're watching SA Live. Well, three cheers to the Christmas season, and we are here at a miracle pop-up right in the heart of the Alamo City. We are at downstairs at the Esquire, which is a great little speakeasy, and joining me right now is head bartender Julio Zepeda. Zepeda. All right. Yeah. So, this is a season that miracles happen. This is a miracle pop-up. Tell folks what that is. It's a full-on Christmas theme pop-up. We are doing all Christmas cocktails, Christmas music, Christmas ambiance full of fun and crazy uh, activities and cocktails that we can provide for you guys. Yes, of course, yes. Go ahead and get into the Christmas spirits, right? Exactly. Okay. All right, so the first one we are making is the holiday spiked chai. Holiday right? spiked chai, yes. What's yeah. in that? Oh, so we did the almond milk first, the chai syrup next. We're gonna do a little bit of egg whites after that. Move it on to our tiki bitters. Giving it an, an uh, island Caribbean spice flavor on there. Doing our uh, blend of brandy, uh, amaretto, coffee, and uh, Jamaican overproof rum in there. Cheers. Salud! Okay, so tell folks when the Miracle Pop-Up is open here at Downstairs at the Esquire. Got you. Tuesday through Thursday and Sunday, uh, we're going to do 5 p.m. to uh, 12 a.m. And then Friday and Saturday, 6 p.m. all the way to 2 a.m. Or last person standing, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so the second cocktail we're making is the Grandma Got Run Over by a T-Rex. Grandma Got Run Over by a T-Rex, yes. What's in that? So we did a little bit of fresh lime juice, Angostura bitters. Can't forget a little bit of the absinthe that I didn't mention on it. Some bar spoon of that. We're gonna do a good amount of the vodka and aloe vera corn liqueur and vodka. All right, you ready? Oh, here we go. Let's see if I can do. It. Why am I you thinking so hard? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll let you Let's do that. I can never yeah. pop that off. Just a little bit more. <laughs> Okay. There we go. <laughs> One. Cheers. All right, line them up. Okay, all right. Mm. So, oh, that is good. Mm -hmm. So, how long will the Miracle Pop-Up be going on for? Uh, the very last day would be the uh, December 31st is mm -hmm. the last day for our Christmas themed uh, pop-up, yeah, okay. Miracle. All right, and then our last cocktail is the Snowball Old Fashioned, right? Snowball Old Fashioned, yes. All right, what's in that? So it's gonna be a rye-based cocktail with a house-made gingerbread syrup. We've got Angostura bitters and uh, Wormwood bitters, giving it a nice piney or basis note, just like all these cocktails. Yes, thank you. Okay, so what's the secret to a really good old fashioned? I think in my opinion, uh, a good amount of bitters, a proper whiskey, and uh, not too much of a sugar component. I think that would be a perfect old fashioned for me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So besides enjoying the miracle pop-up through the end of the year, I mean, when you come here to the Esquire Tavern, there's a lot of history, right? There is, yes. Uh, it being one of the oldest bars on the Royal Walk, uh, Esquire has been here since uh, almost back to the Prohibition era. It actually opened up the very next day after Prohibition ended. Wow, and it's got one of the longest wooden bars, wooden in, bars Texas. Yeah. in Texas. Mm -hmm. All right, and where, so if folks wanted to come on out to the Miracle Pop-Up, yeah. where can they go? Uh, if you guys want to check us out, which uh, uh, reservations are recommended, mm -hmm. MiracleOnCommerceStreet.com. Uh, Is where you can go. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, well, cheers, yes. I feel like you need one too. Or at least hold this one, here we go. <laughs> there we go, all right. For more information on the Miracle Pop-Up here at Downstairs at the Esquire, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Cheers. 
Still ahead on SA Live, there's a lot of fun things to do this weekend where you can enjoy a free Christmas concert and more holiday adventures around town. And next, want to give your Christmas tree a glow up? We've got great <laughs> tips and tricks from a local artist who an, who an entire downtown hotel, including seven trees, we're going to learn from the pro straight ahead. like to branch out and maybe try something new on your Christmas tree? Local artist and our dear friend Stephanie Pena Frost, owner of The Princess and the Monkey, joins us right now and has some great little tips yes. for decorating your trees. And nobody knows better than her because, <laughs> you know, I decorated, we got the house done. She did a hotel. A whole yes. hotel, an entire yes. hotel. <laughs> and you, and that hotel is the Hotel Contessa right here in downtown, okay? And that included seven Christmas trees. Seven Here's Christmas some pictures. trees. Wow. Ranging from s seven feet to a 12 foot tree. But and they not, were all done in oh a matter of days. Yes. Look and it's at not that. just though the trees, I mean, you've got to do the railings and the little planter areas. Yes. So it, look was, at that. it was almost 600 feet of garland. I had an amazing team come out and help me. I couldn't have done this one by myself, but it did take about six months of planning. Wow. So, and then at the end we had to integrate some trees that they had into the design as well. Wow. So I learned a whole bunch of really great tips at how to make everything work seamlessly and mm -hmm. quickly and beautifully with the, with the ornaments on hand. Okay. okay. So down there yes. you had a lot of the larger ornaments, obviously. Right. Because it's big tree, but, yeah. large ornaments. Um, if you can't find large ornaments, because they're so hard to find, especially in the colors that you want, a tip that, that I came across was bunching ornaments together. So you could get a single color, single style, or you could do multiple multiples and with that you can easily put them onto a tree in the in in the spots that you need to have filled you can put tuck them into the tree as well to kind of help it give it some more uh, depth and 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 texture to it which was a whole bunch of fun to do and as you saw she hooked them all together just ran some floral wire through there and that's great because not only is it easy to work with then mm -hmm. you can put them on the branch and you can just twist the floral yes you don't wire, have to worry so. about them falling off you don't okay. have to use the traditional um, ornament hooks either. Okay. So that and was one of the really great tips um, that that we kind of came across. You know, fun ways to use ribbon, fun ways to use picks. You can do bows, you can do ribbons, you can do a whole bunch of different things with it to kind of get make it personal, make it your own style and mm -hmm. give it that texture. Instead of just having it a plain, simple tree, kind of make it fun. And you can use um, like past ornaments that you have. So you have a tree that you want to kind of restyle. This is another good way to do it to incorporate maybe some new looks to it as well. So the next thing that we're going to do is something that Monica came in and really helped me with um, at the end because we didn't want to do a traditional tree topper on all these but we wanted to give it some 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 depth and some definition. She's a f f an amazing florist and so she did basically a floral arrangement on the top of each tree. Mm -hmm. So I was like, "Oh, okay with this cuz she did great." So she's going to teach y'all how to do this and we're kind of we're going to help. So oh, I we haven't put started. These, whoops. So I put them in the tree. <laughs> So whether you can have it going straight up or you can have it coming straight out, however you want to do it, just think of it as making an arrangement, like a floral okay. arrangement. So if you don't have a, a tree topper or if you want to, you can even incorporate a star if you have a star that you really like and you can put it as the and center. And you can go around it, yes. And then you can definitely go around it. Okay, I'll be darned. Look at how that was so simple. And look and at how great it looks. Yes. <laughs> look and at I that. love that, that if you still wanted to incorporate the star, you just kind of fan this out and yes. just kind of crown the tree, right? Yes. yes. And it makes it so stylish. And you'll see this a lot around town, a lot in decorator magazines, a lot on different things. So it's a beautiful way to kind of jazz up a tree, especially if it's a, a one that you already have. Look at that. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Stephanie Pena Frost. Thank you yes. very much. You can find Princess and the Monkey Home Decor at the Pearl Holiday Night Market on Wednesday night starting at 5 p.m. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, the Case Head Insider Prize Wheel is back. It is your chance to win one of six amazing prizes, how you can be the next big winner. And next, a festival all about tamales and a free Christmas concert where you can find these fun events and lots more happening around town. You don't want to miss this. Live. Well, do you want to feel the holiday spirit from your head to your mistletoes? Ooh, 
<laughs> okay, Robert's had it with all I of know. his little puns and everything. So there's a lot of fun and even some free things going around, going on around town to help you slay the Christmas season. <laughs> bum, bum, Here's what is happening. Let's start with some free fun. Mission Open Air Market is hosting a free Christmas concert tomorrow, the third, starting at 11 in the morning. The concert will feature feature Los Lost Boys and trend-setting cumbia group. There will also be a farmer's market, Christmas shopping, authentic Mexican eats, and a whole lot more. The Beep Baseball All-Star Showcase kicks off tonight. The San, San Antonio's very own, of course, blind baseball team. The Jets will be competing. The event starts at 6 p.m. this evening with a home run derby at Star Soccer Complex. It continues through Saturday, and it's a free event put on by the Texas Adaptive Play Initiative. Good luck to all the players competing. You can find the schedule on salive.com. Just click the As Seen on SA Live tab. There's also lots of Christmas light displays around town that are totally free. University and the Incarnate Word, of course, the Riverwalk downtown, the less crowded museum reach portion of the Riverwalk, driving through Windcrest neighborhoods and Travis Park, which has free movies some nights, all totally free. And need an excuse to eat an entire pack of Oreos? No. This Sunday, December 4th, is National cookie day. Tiff's Treats will give free chocolate chip cookies to any visitor who drops by the location. Jimmy John's and Great American Cookies also have great deals, but you need to be a rewards member. We found a website with all the details for those deals. Link on our website as seen on SALive.com. Well, tamale season is just getting started here in the Alamo City, and it kicks off with the San Antonio Tamale Festival this Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m to 6 p.m. The event is free to enter, but parking costs $5. Guests will get to choose between multiple vendors and decide who makes the best tamale. There will be music, entertainment, and the event is pet friendly. There are a few days left to see Dr. Seuss How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the musical. That Grinch has been busy while he's been here in the Alamo City. It's playing now until this Sunday, the 4th, at the Majestic Theater. There are day and evening showtimes available. It features hit songs, beloved characters, and is narrated by Max the Dog. Another Christmas classic is about to take the stage. Ballet San Antonio is performing the Nutcracker at the Tobin Center. The opening performance is tonight at 7.30, and it will include our own Mike Osterhage taking the stage as Mother Ginger. It's a one-night special performance. Performances continue through this weekend and next. There will be a sensory-friendly performance on Tuesday, December 6th. For links to all these events, all you have to do is head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Do yourself a favor and Go see that at some point because they are so talented. All right, next on SA Live, every spin's a win. The KSAT Insider Prize Wheel is back. See what one SA Live viewer wins today and how you can be the next big winner. Well, right now, have you had a furnace tune-up yet? KSAT local expert John Wayne Service Company shows you how a checkup could save your life. Hi, my name is Chris Moore with John Wayne Service Company. Today we're doing a heating precision tune-up for a customer of ours. Come on, let's go take a look. The reason for our call today is because the customer wants to get the furnace checked before we really get in to the winter time where the heating is going to be needed. We're going to check it for safety and for efficiency on our visit today. So right here, Always check your filter. This is very important because this is actually what keeps the blower clean, the blower housing, the furnace. All the air translates from here all the way up through the rest of the system. So we need to make sure that the blower is staying clean. Filter looks good. Customer is keeping it changed out regularly. So what we just did was check for gas leaks and carbon monoxide for the customer. Results are, are good. There's no gas leaks, there's no carbon monoxide present in the furnace. So we just checked the gas pressure going to the manifold. The pressure is reading within the tolerance level. That's basically letting the furnace operate at its full potential. Next, we're going to reopen up the furnace and inspect the blower. We're going to run our vacuum through there to ensure that it's nice, clean air being transferred through the entire system. So the precision heating check is complete. The system itself is not leaking any gas, no carbon monoxide. We checked the overall efficiency of the system, so the customer is going to feel confident getting this fired up for the winter time ahead. Well, that's it from here. Again, my name is Chris with John Wayne Service Company. If you feel like your furnace could use a tune-up, give us a call or visit us at johnwayne.com.
Welcome back to SA Live. Well, it's time to announce today's winner in the Thomas J. Henry Daily Cash Giveaway. Congratulations to Ronald Wheatley. You are taking home $500. Thomas J. Henry is giving away $500 every day, Monday through Friday through December 16th. One lucky winner will take home $10,000. You can enter to be the next winner online at tjhcash.com slash San Antonio. Good luck. Really is back and bigger than ever. And today's winner is Ella O'Connell from Von Ormy. She spun the big wheel and won a $500 Circle K gift card. We're going to be spinning the KSAT Insider Prize Wheel for a new winner every first Friday of the month. And you could be next. But you've got to be a KSAT Insider. For details on how to enter, visit the website ksat.com slash insider. Congratulations, Ella. Hey, coming up Monday on SI Live, holy lights. Experience Christmas lights like you have never seen them before. We take you to, oh, a great place, Santa's Ranch up in New Braunfels. Are you stocked up on holiday cheer? This shop at the Historic Pearl has everything for the holidays and then some, where you can support local and find some truly unique decorations. That's all Monday at 1 right here on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you to choose one. What's better, sugar cookies or gingerbread? I mean, they're both great, but. Mm, are they? Okay, let's see. Oh, see. Jane, Jane okay. says sugar cookies. Just I'm right like there you. with you, Jane. Although she loves gingerbread cookies too. Mm. Oh, she gave a mic answer. Okay. Uh, yes, indeed. Gingerbread men. Yes, yes indeed. Lisa they're fun. Ann. They're cute. <laughs> Definitely Christmas sugar cookies. Yes, gingerbread cookies for me is an acquired taste. Vicky says, I love sugar. You can ice them with red, green, yes. white, yes. gold, and silver, and edible glitter. I yes. know you love to decorate you get cookies. The cans, you get the cans of, of frosting, yes, and I you know. put the food coloring in it, and you decorate it and all that stuff, and you make the snowman and so forth, and the Santa Claus. It's Saturday afternoon for him. It, it is, and putting Hallmark Christmas movies on everything. Of Speaking course. of Christmas, we are going to take you to Santa's Ranch on Monday. That guy will not be there, but he was here. Oh, he did. He stole that? Seriously, oh. Grinch. We're going to have to wrangle him. <sighs>